right, so, uh, oh, sorry, kitty. Oh, I'm sorry, did I step on her? I stepped on the cat. Sorry, cat. Are you okay? You gonna be all right? That was a horrible noise. Yikes. Poor thing. I stepped on her. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Ladies and germs, welcome to Morris Custom Bicycles. And uh, it's been a busy day, and I'm happy to have busy days at the shop. But uh, I'm a little bit worried about the, how many more busy days I'm gonna have. So uh, probably by this point, folks have uh, heard about all the trouble the bike, bicycle industry is having right now. And, and it's true. Uh, it was at first a, an annoyance and then kind of a problem and now it's a major problem and that major problem is becoming into a situation which I'm not sure every bike shop is going to um, withstand. Uh, and it's, it's also true that bikes are selling fast used bikes, old bikes, new bikes, you know, yeah, bikes just are selling really well. Uh, but there's just not um, enough supply. And so when it comes to a shop like my shop where I build custom frames and make the bike from the ground up and I also do all the repair and tune up and, you know, race prep work and you know, a whole host of things. <laughs> um, it, it hurt, especially hurts me because I'm not exactly a retailer, and I rely on companies being able to supply me with parts, and that's become a real problem now. Uh, you know, and I've talked to other bike shop owners where you know we're buying stuff off Amazon and AliExpress and other online sources and we're paying full retail just to get parts and so Shimano uh, which you know I, I've loved working with Shimano uh, most of the parts that I deal with tend to be Shimano and so they're a great company to have on board and I deal with them directly but uh, you know the the emails that I have gotten this last year from them are, you know it's just not good and so uh, you know, this email that I have right here, uh, let me just read some of this here. Uh, here we go. Shimano's Malaysian factory resumed operation at 60% capacity on July 16th. And before that, they were, you know, from the emails I'm reading, were pretty much closed. The factory is diligently working on res uh, to restart production and provide new shipping confirmation dates for delayed orders. New delivery dates will be reflected upon uh, the website as soon as it is available. Um, July through September is high season uh, for typhoons in the in Southeast Asia. Recently, typhoons have unfortunately forced uh, the suspension of port operations, further delaying shipments to North America from the region. So, so on top of COVID closing down factories, now we have. Uh, typhoons. Oh, West Coast uh, ports continue to set volume records, causing an increase in the time to offload vessels and transport containers uh, to Shimano. East Coast ports are maintaining their current offload uh, performance measurements. Uh, so, yeah, it's more delays, more delays. Um, it, they're talking about here, um, Shimano's announced additionally, uh, additional investments in global production capacity. A new factory in Singapore is scheduled to open in 2022. <laughs> uh, great. That's awesome. But, uh, you know, I need help now. <laughs> so customers need their parts now. Uh, so I've had bikes sit in the shop for, you know, close to two months now for simple parts that I would have gotten in two days normally. 
And so <clears throat> it really has me wondering if I can keep my doors open any longer. Uh, it, it really is kind of scary. Uh, but this is going to have huge consequences on bike shops, especially small bike shops. Um, anyway, they talk about in this email that there have been so many back orders in Shimano that uh, if you use a credit card to pay with to pay for the order, like a business credit card, uh, that the credit cards are now out of date and won't work anymore. And so, <laughs> yeah, it's it's silly. So I, if they can get more action going in Singapore, great. But that's not until 2022. Uh, Taiwan and um, Malaysia seem to be closed or trying to open uh, and Malaysia 60%. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, anyway, this is a letter from Shimano, uh, you know, big, huge billion dollar company. And again, I used to get parts from them and take like two days. Now I, I can't get basic, simple shifters, trailers, you know, it'll take more than a month. So this is a real thing. And so uh, customers, you're just gonna have to be really patient. And somehow the bike industry is gonna have to figure out how to survive this and bike shops like myself, um, who don't stock a whole ton of parts on the shelves are, you know, in danger. And um, so I wish I had better news with this kind of stuff, but I figured it was important to keep everyone up to date on, on how things are really going in the bike industry right now. So uh, if you've been shopping for a certain type of bike uh, or, you know, certain components, you'll know that, yeah, some companies, you know, you, you'll be six months to two years wait is, is the reality here. So anyway, sorry about the news. Um, I hope at least this was informative. If you like this kind of crap, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you folks later.